right guys, Funker here at Scale Street Garage and I'd just like to welcome you to uh, the first ever half monthly diecast community build which is sponsored by the Three Blind Mice and the rules are the same as the usual build where uh, each month everybody uses exactly the same diecast for, uh, for their build and uh, this month is the Hot Wheels 56 Flash Cider and these castings have been around since 1992 until present day. And I would like to thank Lee, George and Paul, the three blind mice, for allowing us all to uh, join in on their build. I think it's absolutely fantastic of you guys. I can't wait to see the other guys' uh, trucks as well. I think there's about another dozen of us that are actually participating on this one, uh, as well as the three blind mice. So don't forget to uh, check out everybody else's builds as well after this one. And so now it's time to make a start and take it apart. Just going to drill it out first of all, the 1.5mm drill. I'm going to drill it deep enough to put screws in afterwards as well. And then I'll take off the flange so we can separate the body from the base. As you'll see it comes apart nice and easy uh, using a a small screwdriver or a parting tool of some form. Okay. Come on then, who's pinched the interior? <laughs> There's not a lot to this casting. It's literally just the body, the base and a screen. It's almost as bland as the old Lesney Matchbox cars in the early days. Just going to test fit the screw. Um, it's just a, a 2mm button head self tapping screws I use so no need to tap it whatsoever and these screw in nice and easy as it's only an alloy, a zinc alloy metal anyway now one of the best parts get rid of these absolutely horrible hideous wheels yep so we're going to do a wheel swap on this one and just just test fitting the uh, the new wheels just to see what it looks like with the body on and see what what I've got to do to the base of this to get them to fit before I can put the uh, the body in for uh, stripping the paint um, well done if you've spotted it guys uh, these wheels are actually the racing wheels off some of the uh, the, the cars movie cars <laughs> they make great wheel choice so uh, no way I'm in uh, recycling. Going to get rid of this custard yellow paint now uh, into the uh, into the better strip, and we'll uh, we'll give it a, a good old shake to make sure it's all coated, and then uh, 15 minutes later we should be ready to wash it off. Quick check, make sure this, uh, it's all loosened off. I have no doubts on this one. Yep. Yep, it's loosened off nicely. So uh, what we can do is take this in a minute and uh, give it a nice hot soapy water scrub with mother-in-law's toothbrush. And uh, whatever's left on there will then come off with the, the wire brush. So here we go then, just the uh, the wire brush attachment on the, the usual Roger tool. Just going to speed things up now with the help of uh, DJ Blind Mouse. Now we're filing it now. I'm getting rid of all the casting lines and where the, the roof was actually. Uh, there was no, no lip, no hangover on the roof line so I'm about to file that back in as well. Lots and lots of uh, really, really bad casting lines on this one. So uh, let's see who can guess which one of the three blind mice is making a guest appearance here as the uh, as the DJ.
uh, DJ Blind Mouse. Just cuts the chassis away to uh, make room for the wider wheels with the uh, jeweler's saw. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit these. Um, it just makes sure that you uh, lubricate the blade and you don't press down too hard otherwise you're going to snap it. I'm using some aluminium tube here for the, uh, for the axles and then I can uh, snip. Snip the actual axle for the wheels and super glue them inside. Just measure the length you need and mark it. Then with your blade, just uh, roll the tube in and score the actual um, aluminium and it just snaps off nice and easy. Do the same for both axles and then we can uh, super glue them in place and if you cut a, a small notch in the uh, each end then what you can do is when you put the axles in you can put the super glue and that locks it in place nicely. As you'll see there just putting one of the wheels on just make sure that the, uh, the super glue is in the in the hole and then push the the pin down and the axle down just to make sure the wheels on nice and firm and then a quick squirt of the activator and that sets it in with the wheels all on it's now ready for paint just laying down a, a black base coat um, this isn't the first time this has been in the uh, the spray booth um, I've already done one paint job on it but didn't like it so uh, it got stripped again um, I went for a blue marble effect but um, I didn't quite like it so off it came so after stripping it all I've got a nice uh, a nice clean base to start on and this time I'm going with chameleon flip paint and um, this if I remember correctly is called African Sunset and as we move the vehicle it goes from gold to a nice fuchsia pink so I've let that dry off overnight and now I'm just doing some uh, some detailing just doing the doors and around the windows um, headlights the marker lights etc uh, you might be able to just see the uh, the paint there as it's Moving around, changing colour. <laughs> when it moves around. There we go. You see it there changing to a gold and to a pink. I absolutely love this. I think it's a great effect. Time to uh, put some black in there now. Just covering up the axles, etc. And now the on this side and get this, this chassis in a nice uh, nice flat black and then I can highlight all the red metal with, with the uh, Molotov crime pen and uh, that will make it pop nicely as you'll see there just using the uh, same technique again with the uh, aluminium tube and just extending the um, the exhaust pipes just to give it a little bit more realism just going to hold them in place with some uh, CA glue and a squirt of activator and then the uh, the Molotov chrome pen really really highlights all the raised parts of metal underneath a little bit touching in and then it's time to uh, put it back together guys I hope you like this colour change just as much as I do. Absolutely love it. From the uh, from the deep goldy bronze down to a, a nice fuchsia-ish pink. So uh, very very difficult to uh, to get a decent um, video or photograph of these cards with a flip paint.
Um, I don't know if any of you have tried it. Uh, if you've uh, got any hints and tips on how to uh, how to get it nicely, then uh, please, please, please contact me. Please let me know. I'd love to know. Um, I've got a few of these different paints now, and uh, I want some decent photographs. <laughs> so if you can uh, leave a comment below, cheers, guys. So uh, in goes the glass. It's all nice and clean and polished up. Sorry, guys, I. Uh, I miss the uh, polishing of it, and the uh, the base all goes back on, and hold it together with a little two millimeter screw. Wasn't quite lining up. It's all lined up now. And she's done. So happy. A quick recap of uh, how it started in this uh, luxurious yellow and Brown crappy, I don't know if they're supposed to be go faster stripes or not. Um, horrible, horrible wheels, black tape windows because there's no interior. And uh, hope you're ready for a reveal. There you go, guys. Beautiful two tone flip paint street cruiser. Uh, on the back is you can't quite make it out a carbon fiber effect spread onto a piece of plastic sheet and placed on top as a as a deck cover uh, so it's got the the racing wheels highlighted the lights etc around the windows the handles paint the underside extend the exhausts and uh, it's had a, a coat of clear as well i absolutely love this i hope you guys like it as well please 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 give me a thumbs up if you do uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, share on your social media a massive big thanks to uh, all my new subscribers as well and also a huge great big thanks to uh, Lee George and Paul once again the three below mice for hosting this this build off and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one and don't forget to go and uh, check everybody else's builds out so certainly uh, some fantastic builders that are joining on this one and I've got some more challenges coming up soon. Cheers, guys. Catch you all soon. Bye.